Hello, welcome to uh, chapter 2 of uh, the course M132 Introduction to Linear Algebra at AOU. In this section, section 2.3 of the book, we will talk about linear dependence and independence. This is the last section that we talk about in this chapter. Uh, we'll start with a few definitions. Uh, definition of uh, linearly dependent and independent vectors. The set of vectors S, which contains x1, x2 to xk in Rn, is linearly dependent if there exists scalar c1, c2 to ck that belongs to R, the set of real numbers. Not all zeros, such that c1 times x1 plus c2 times x2 plus ck times xa is equal to zero. Otherwise, x1, x2 to xk are linearly independent. That is, if x1, x2 to xk are linearly independent whenever c1, x1 plus c2, x2 plus plus ck, xk is equal to zero, we must have c1 equal to c2 equal to ck equal to zero, which is the trivial solution. So whenever we have a trivial solution, it means that the vectors are linearly independent. If we have at least one of the c values different than zero, then the vectors are linearly dependent. Geometrically speaking, uh, li uh, vectors being independent or independent means uh, the vectors are linearly dependent if their line of action is the same. They could be uh, in different sense, different direction, but the line of action is the same. Uh, vectors uh, are linearly independent uh, from the uh, geometry point of view if each is uh, going into a different direction. In other words, they don't have the same line of action. Examples, uh, the vectors x1, x2, and x3 are linearly independent. These vectors are called the coordinate vectors. And uh, since c1 x1 plus c2 x2 plus c3 x3 is equal to 0, uh, here we have c1 equal to c2 equal to c3 equal to 0, which fits very well into the definition. And we know that these three vectors being uh, the coordinate vectors, each of them has its own direction. They're not on the same line of action. Another example are the vectors x1, x2, and x3, which are uh, in R3, linearly independent. Explain. In order to answer the question, we must apply the definition. Assume that c1, x1, plus c2, x2, plus c3, x3 is equal to 0, where c1, c2, and c3 belong to R. If we uh, multiply uh, these uh, constants, or these scalar values by the values of the vectors here we will have as we have seen before in the previous page uh, a system of equations system of equations uh, for which we can create the following augmented matrix and then we can do the row reduction to obtain the this matrix here and here we can see that c1 is equal to 0 c2 is equal to 0 and c3 is equal to 0 Therefore, x1, x2, and x3 are linearly independent vectors. Note that the set of n vectors, s equal to x1, x2 to xn in Rn, is linearly dependent if the determinant of these vectors, the determinant of the matrix formed by these vectors, is equal to 0. Otherwise, s is linearly independent. In other words, if the determinant is different than 0, s is linearly independent. Example, the vectors x1, x2, and x3, as shown here, are linear independent since the determinant of the matrix that, that is formed by the uh, uh, vectors here is equal to 1, which is different than 0. Another note here, two vectors x1 and x2 in Rn are linearly dependent if and only if x1 is equal to Cx2. One can be written, in other words, one vector can be written in terms of the other one. 
the vectors x1, x2 to xk are linearly dependent if and only if one of them is a linear combination of the other vectors. So if we can write one of the vectors as a linear combination of the others, then these vectors are linearly dependent. Example, the vectors x1 and x2 shown here 1 1 1 and 3 3 3 are linear dependent since x2 is equal to 3 x1 same thing here the vectors x1 x2 and x3 are linear dependent since x3 is equal to x1 plus x2 example let s equal to x1 x2 and x3 be a linearly independent set show that T, which is equal to x1 plus x2, x1 minus x3, and x2 plus 2x3 is a linearly independent set. To answer the question, we assume that T is linearly independent. If it is the case, then C1 times x1 plus x2, x1 minus x3 times C2, plus c3 times x2 plus 2x3 is equal to 0. We apply the definition. If we regroup and uh, factor the x1, x2, and x3, we'll have the following statement. c1 plus c2 times x1 plus c1 plus c3 times x2 plus minus c2 plus 2c3 times x3 is equal to 0. We can create the system, which is... Uh, a 3 by 3 system the variables are c1 c2 and c3 from this we create the augmented cor corresponding augmented matrix that is equal to 0 if we do the uh, row reduction we obtain the following matrix augmented matrix which shows that c1 is equal to 0 c2 is equal to 0 and c3 is equal to 0 which confirms that t is linearly independent set this ends uh, the tutorial for section 2.3.